Welcome back to the course construction series. In the last episode, we started to build our clubhouse and uh, pro shop. Now we're moving on to a few more details in and around those buildings that are a little bit outside the golf course. So join me for a little more of uh, that finer detail. Okay, welcome back everybody. And this is the view that we had last time. Uh, as we built the clubhouse pro shop uh, and around the first tee and we took a break from uh, Kind of doing some rough grading for our, our 18 holes. We finished the first nine and we we built a clubhouse and uh, Since the last episode I went in I did a finer uh, Detail work on around the clubhouse. I want to show you what I did and we're gonna carry on with that uh, that theme So so here's what we had last time and we sneak around the front of the buildings now you can see there's a lot more to this side. So I've I have added a parking lot, I've flattened it out, I've put some cars in there, I've added a bit of a barrier around the parking lot, I've did some detail work and some planting on some gardens here that are at the front of the clubhouse uh, building itself. And then if you look off behind the pro shop here, you'll see that I uh, added some cobblestone there. I threw a couple golf carts in there that were parked around the pro shop. I haven't really put anything on the golf course side yet. Uh, eventually there'll be some golf carts out here and some bags and such. Um, and what I was trying to do is I was, I was thinking of the ninth hole, thinking that the ninth green is pretty close to these buildings. And I wanted to know that if we're on the green putting and looking around that we could see some of these finer details. And that's kind of a, an interesting view right there from the uh, ninth green. But also at the same time in the ninth green, I didn't really want to see the cars and parking lots. I wanted to keep it more golf course-esque, if that makes any sense. Uh, and uh, you see if we lift up to the little bit, we would have seen all that. So I, I've strategically placed some trees and shrubs along the wall of the, uh, the parking lot. And uh, as a result, you can't see them. And let's scoot across the other side of the parking lot uh, through this gap here and down some stairs. And this is where I've started to build our practice facilities. I have laid out a putting green, some fairway there for practice chipping. Uh, I've put a little bit of a, a range uh, building there. I haven't uh, yet uh, flattened out the range and, and figured out how that's going to look for, for people that are hitting balls down there. I have measured it out to about 300 yards. I'll probably put a berm at the back of the range to keep balls from going to that pond that's way down there. And also around the driving range, I have placed another little uh, green for chipping, specifically practice uh, chipping at a bunkers, three different uh, bunkers there for people to practice. And, uh, and the views from the driving range parking lot here for carts, not too bad. You can get a hint of the clubhouse there on the top of the hill. And also from this area here, we can see there's a couple holes nearby. And uh, that's going to get a little bit interesting there. Uh, we can see off towards... Uh, this looks like it's yeah the fifth green here off in the distance uh, to the left of the driving range and to the right of the driving range is actually going to be the uh, eventually this will be the tenth hole that cuts down on the uh, right side of the range so so that's what I've built since last time sorry I didn't include you on that but especially when you're doing uh, stuff like flattening parking lots and and especially the planting here um, we'll do more planting later on and I'll show you how I came up with this but. Uh, it gets very tedious is, is all I got to say. And it's a lot of finesse work. I probably put at least an hour, an hour and a half into um, these uh, the plantings and parking lots and getting the cars positioned just right and uh, and the walls around it as well. So, And through there in the distance, we can see the maintenance facility as well. And, and likely I have some work to do there. But today, all I want to do is kind of keep thinking through this process now. I now have something that resembles a near final version of the clubhouse pro shop and uh, carts. I was also trying to figure out the flow of traffic. That may sound a little crazy in a game that all we're doing is playing 18 holes, but I wanted in my brain to think, oh, okay, I come off the 18th green, and this is going to be the 18th green down in here eventually, somewhere in that area, and I didn't want traffic to come back up this way because there's the first tee. So I had to kind of come up with an idea of how do we get traffic from 18th green around and back over to the pro shop, I decided I was going to have golfers and probably a path eventually exit right of the green, come up here uh, to the right of the clubhouse. I created this little uh, path here, cobblestone path for carts to kind of zoom in front of the clubhouse without having to go through where the where the cars drop people off. Come back into kind of the cart storage area in behind the pro shop. And then at the same time, I thought if people are coming to the pro shop or getting out of their cars and they want to go to the practice facility, I needed something that they'd be able to come back through here in front of the clubhouse along that same path. And then cut across the, the road there, down a bit of a hill, and over towards the uh, driving range that is uh, tucked in off beside the, the uh, parking lot. So, so that's kind of what I was thinking when it came to, you know, strategically laying things out so it's realistic. 
uh, and not just randomly play. So that's, like I said, that's a lot of work for facilities you're not going to see a lot of. But in my defense, um, and I go back to kind of the strategy that I've seen Arctic Fury use in his courses, and uh, when you are playing up a hole and you see something like that in the distance, it adds a lot more to the real realistic side of the game, the realism, the the simulation of feeling like you're actually at a golf course. Because when you're at a golf course looking around, you don't just see golf holes and that's it. You really do see other things like these outbuildings and golf carts in the distance, maybe a driving range somewhere, maintenance, maintenance shed in the distance. And when you're playing up 18th green as well, um, uh, you also are going to kind of see the clubhouse and the pro shop looming large at the top of that hill and as the balls come down with some trajectory you're going to see that in the corner of your eye on those shots and catch the range on the right side or the parking lot beyond and not to mention when you're now playing up the uh, the fifth hole and you look off towards the side you're going to see a hint of that uh, those facilities as well so it adds to the realism of the game and so I was thinking what else do I need here so I've got a clubhouse and I've got a front deck on the clubhouse uh, I do also have uh, this little front veranda area with uh, cars going through, cart parking. Uh, four carts can fit there, a few more out in front. But that's not going to house enough golf carts for a facility like this. You're going to need storage for a lot more carts. So I've been trying to figure out where storage for carts lives on this golf course. And, and uh, I've been looking around to see what I've got available. I've got a bit of an area here I could put a cart barn in. Uh, also down the hill behind the driving range. We've got a, a couple holes down here uh, and uh, there's a par 3 that comes across here but do I have potential down here? I kind of think I do. So I'm, I'm leaning towards stashing a cart barn down in here and a cart barn can only be used for carts but it may have storage for and facilities for say cleaning range balls and, and stuff like that. So uh, this kind of ties the facility together. The people that work at the pro shop can bring the carts. They can park them down in the cart barn. Uh, some of the support staff may also work at the driving range and be able to come back up from the driving range after they've collected balls and uh, get them cleaned up and put back in baskets or bags and ready for the, the next round of golfers. So a lot of thought for things that you're not going to see when you play the game but they're going to be there in your peripheral they they are going to add to the realism and it's a lot of fun to try to design these elements so so i'm going to go looking for a cart burn and then uh, i'm going to tuck it down in here i really don't want it i don't want it super visible on the drive in so I, i'm trying to picture I, i'm driving my vehicle in here i have to flatten this road out and i've got some nice cover for some bushes right over here so i'm thinking beyond that Kind of down in here so let's go see how big the buildings are that we can add as a as a cart barn and, and we'll go from there so we're gonna place some objects we're gonna go to buildings uh, we're gonna go to miscellaneous and then we are gonna see what we have that looks like uh, you know they call this a cart shed and let's see how big that is that's not bad it's green which i kind of like to to hide it doesn't really uh, contrast with my my stone building, so that's in the in the works. Let's let's consider that one. And what else we got? We've got this big monster shed. We've got another shed. We've got uh, that shed's interesting because it has some stonework on it. Kind of fits the theme. But can you imagine me trying to stash that thing down right here? I don't know. It's it's doable, I guess, is what I gotta say. But I gotta do a lot of landscaping to make that happen. You know. Uh, that one I don't really like. These ones here, I don't really get anything out of the siding there that, that floats my boat. Uh, that one's a little too green ugly. That one's more maintenance-like. That's a looks more like a pump house than it does a, a cart shed. That's more like an elaborate pro shop starter facility possibly. Uh, this one's pretty big, more like maintenance facility. Same with that one. This one's a monster as well. So I'm not sure what i want here i'm leaning towards the one i saw earlier one of the first ones we saw but just flipping through none of those work for me let's go back to that one i think that works it's not overly large like let's compare it to the size of a cart we're going to fit some carts in there we're not going to fit a ton of them but you might be able to pack them in side by side and fit 20 30 carts which might not be enough for 18 holes but we're, we're gonna we're gonna put it in there just simply because I think that works best in orientation wise how are we doing this okay let's so bring it up we're gonna spin this sucker around we got a door on the back side kind of picture that maybe being an entrance for people that come back in and have 
are, are using the facility for for ball washing and such you can see what that's going to do that's going to make our entrance way for our carts see that that is there let's see maybe this works a little bit better this orientation yeah that's kind of working more for me let's slide this down the hill a little bit bring it up towards the range it's a little i kind of envisioned it going up in here to tell you the truth somewhere right in there we might be able to make that work hold on where is the entrance for the carts so it's going to be over on his side right we can't see it yeah there's the door there kind of need to i want to try to keep as many big trees as i can as well that means it might have to go down in here so that's a little a little far away but not terrible from the pro shop i said i would have preferred to have it tucked up into here somewhere um we might be able to make that work i think that's a compromise up in there i will have to do some landscaping to be able to get the carts in there so let's spin the building a little bit maybe bring it down the hill and maybe we'll be able to keep those trees we'll see that might work right around in there i can see coming down the hill that way with the carts to store them i can see coming off the range here after picking balls and and a bit of an area there that if i flatten out so let's let's go with that and are we going to lift land up or drop land down let's let's lift it up a little bit and we can always build some foundations on the back actually that would be look nice maybe do some stonework on the back like we did on the clubhouse and the pro shop and that's going to give us the ability to kind of really tie that theme in even more so let's go a little aggressive with lifting this up we got to remember that whatever we lift up the back end has to be accessible there's there's a nice level there and not a bad level there you can see i've only had to flatten that so let's go with that as the position of our cart barn and it did that stupid thing that we do let's see if i can get the shaping right around that you can see how it flattened things down around it i'm going to see if i can overcome that without messing things up so we may have to move things if this doesn't work but we are going to sculpt some land we're going to do some flattening here basically what i'm trying to do is to flatten out that ugly unnatural looking dip there and might not work i think i may have to let's try this lift this up and see yeah i may have to drop either everything else down around it or bring it up even more um, hmm not liking this let's see if we can go back over here and do something else on this side trying to get this to flatten out and come up to the side of the building let's try that see it has no problem lifting it just doesn't want to settle things down here and smooth them out for me let's see if we can do it this way drop this down and then kind of lift that up a bit i don't think this is going to work but we're going to try yeah it keeps going back to that default setting of the building i do believe let me go back in here and see if i can do one more thing with that building and move it to make it adjust so cart shed move um, let's try to take it down to earth level something like that maybe a touch lower let's go that way there at least it's, that, it's on the ground now we're gonna have to do some shaping to match that up and marry that up to the green here but i think we can do that so let's go back in here and use our landscape flatten a little bit here and see if we can make this work and kind of smooth everything out here we're going to take that down on the back of the green we can always move this green a little bit that's another option same with up in here we're going to kind of take this down blend things in towards the building a little bit better kind of like that and i think that works there this back corner looks a little unnatural so we're going to try to bring that up something like that we may not actually have to do that stonework I talked about on the back corner. We'll see. Let's 
see how that looks that's not too bad we're starting to look a little more natural over in here as well I think we gotta still kind of work on this a little bit and to blend this into the the chipping green site I may have to move the chipping green or make it smaller something like that and then this little slope here beside the building I looks a little unnatural so I'm just gonna run along the edge of this as well and kind of flatten it out a little bit see if we lose that tree or not in the process no, we're still good. I'll take it towards the back corner. And we're going to have to create something clever back in here anyways to be able to get from up here on the road down to this area. So we're going to have to probably drop this down just so we can get in that back door. So we'll keep on working this, massaging this down. Then we'll get a road in place and that'll really show us uh, how it's going to look. Okay, something like that. And then I see over here. I don't know if I can take this corner of the building down if it'll let me or not. Let's let's try. No, it has that default setting that it's not going to let me do that. So we'll undo that. Instead, we're going to blend up to the building. We can do that. That's not a problem. We're going to blend it up here and make it work. There we go. Same thing on this side again. Make it even bigger. Some way like that. And that's not going to impact any of the holes in this area, I'm pretty sure. And there's a there's a green there. Or sorry, a T green number six is right there. There's a T off in the distance. I think that's going to work. And this slope here, not crazy. We could probably blend it down a little bit if we really wanted to. Make the, make the hill a little less aggressive, something like that. And keep on bringing it down beside the building. And right at the building, we may have to still tweak it. No, it's not bad there. It works, comes in. Okay, so let's add some... Uh, other features here one thing I need to do I think is let's see with that green it tails off in the back corner I'm gonna I'm gonna take this whole green facility here and I'm just gonna drop it down a little bit in this corner there we go how's that looking now yeah it's still a little ugly on the back corner there that's gonna have to come up and uh, just bear it with me here as I do that This corner back in here has to come up somewhat. Otherwise, you've got a chipping green. The balls are all going to go on and roll off the back corner. So we're just going to lift this up a bit. Still needs a decent amount of lift back in this corner here. We're getting there. We're getting there bit by bit. We just want the slope of the terrain uh, to look kind of natural going back to the building is all I'm really trying to pull off here. That way that. Then how's that looking? That's a little bit better now. Now it doesn't look so ridiculous and unrealistic. So that that uh, is working for me. So so I think that's fine. I don't think we've yeah we haven't modified enough of no we haven't modified enough of the parking lot to have an impact. So now we're going to go in here, we're going to add some roads to this building and we're going to create surfaces and we're going to go in here and add our cobblestone that we've predefined. We're going to spline this sucker. And how do we do this now? Um, we're going to have something that's probably going to come from the corner of the range here. And we'll start it up beside the range. Um, they will come off this back corner here. They will come off the back center and will connect to a little branch that's going to start up somewhere in here. So something like this. We're just going to give this a try. And the first thing I'm going to do is come up uh, along the front edge of this building with a bit of a path and hopefully I'm close enough that it'll connect. So let's try that. Almost did it. And uh, I want this to be fairly narrow though. 
So I may have to go back in. And then we're going to smooth this. Come on back, trees. There they go. Smooth it. And then I want to go in and uh, create a bit of a area in front of this as well. Surfaces again. Go back to our cobblestone surface. This time we're going to go brush. We're going to go rectangular brush. And we're going to put something out beside this. Let's see. I don't want to cut off that tree. Let's see how that looks. We can always undo it. Cobblestone's a little aggressive. It even goes around the tree. Eh, I don't like that. We're going to nudge it a little farther forward. Something like this. Just want to catch the corner there of that building. Uh, just like that. And I want to leave grass. There we go, around the tree. I think that goes. And then the same thing back here. I'm probably going to want a bit of a walkway or something that extends back to this door. Um, and then possibly even around the back of the building. So let's make that happen. We could spline that if we wanted to. In fact, I may spline that. So what I will do instead is I'm going to use my little rectangular for this side of the building. And what I want is something that is big enough a couple carts can park on. And turn in the building, maybe get uh, cleaned up when they're here. So let's go like that. Let's make that work. And I think that, that goes. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to spline a trail around the corner here. So this, we're going to spline a little bit of a track right around here. To this man door on the side and take it all the way up and connect it to the front of the building well, there we go and then the last thing i need to spline in here is i need to create the trail that goes down to it so we're going to do that as well and this is where we're going to have to get creative okay so the road here, I can see us maybe coming off there, or do we come off a little farther down here and go? I can see we're going to have to, let's first tweak this road. I'll show you how I smoothed down some, some roads first. And before we get into putting that road, we better clean up our main road that comes in. So we're going to go back here to Sculpt, Flatten, Fuzzy Brush, and I want this to get back to zero. And that's not a bad width. Uh, there we go. Something like that. So we're going to come out of here and we're just going to start working on this. And I get, what I do is you just start from the high side and you just slowly step it down down the hill. So here we go. We're going to start taking the... See how you see the hill starts to just kind of drop as you move the brush over top of it? And you just kind of gradually keep going that way and, until you see what looks like realistic leading up to the brush. And don't worry about what's after the brush at this point. Just keep on nudging your way down the hill. And this is not bad here. This is fairly level. We're going to keep on going. We can see we've got a, sh a sharp drop off here. So this is where we're going to start taking it down a little bit. So let's go down here a little bit. And see how that really takes off down the launch pad. We're going to go down here and somewhere in here. Just kind of flatten that out. And do the same there. And we get into a tight corner. You might want to tighten up your brush as well. So... So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to manually drop down some of this. So there we go. That's five feet there. I'm going to take it down another five feet right in front of me here. Then I'll come back and go to zero and go back and smooth it and follow this process through. So we'll come back up here now. I'm going to raise this back up to near zero. Something like that. And go back down that line again and flatten it. And go up here where it drops off a bit and flatten it again. And keep on working down the hill. And again right here where it starts to drop off. I think my brush is a little too wide for my liking there. There we go. See how that drops off just like that. Now I'm creating a slope. 
and I have to keep on going down the hill a little bit and I don't want my slope to get too sharp so I basically I'm like it's like you're pushing this little ridge down the hill until you get it flat enough is the best way I can describe it to you something like that this is how I do all my cart paths not just the entrance to the the facilities a bit bigger here something like that and I may still come back in down the road and tweak this a little bit still something like that we're almost down there again like that and sometimes you may have to go over the same area twice if there's already a sharp slope in place like the little corner that's coming up ahead here that I can see it uh, looks like it's going to need some some finesse we can see another sharp drop off in this road see how the inside of this corner is is wacky we're likely going to have to go over this a couple times to get it right so first I'm going to work the hill out of it a little bit and then come back and flatten it again back up again I'm going to try this one more time back where I already was see each time it's pulling up the right side there and flattening down the left side that's kind of what we want and takes that left to right slope out of it and makes it more level and we'll go back working down the hill again here and you can see how it just does a slow tedious process but it uh, it gets you there eventually I'm going back down again and I'm going to stop doing this in a second even though the road by no means is done but uh, we're going to have to go back to where we have our cart barn and that's kind of the point of why we're doing this first part is just to make something halfway realistic and, and that, like I said this is going to you can see what we're developing here is a very really sharp slope so we're going to have to work that in and we do have a crossing coming up for a hole or two oh we see we got some room to work with but uh, you can always make that a little bit bigger and not so extreme so I can probably uh, keep nudging this down the hill for a little bit at least. Mm -hmm. uh, Do we get too aggressive too fast? No, not terrible. Like I said, there's there's work to be done on this for sure still. Yeah, something like that's probably a little bit better. Picture having like a piece of carpet that you're trying to lay out in a living room and you're pushing out that fold and all the way till you get to the edge and it's kind of what i'm doing here but i have tried going up the hill and back down and it doesn't seem to work as going from the top of the hill and then going back down we're getting there you can see that we're slowly pushing that down the hill to a point you get to a flattish area that's going to look more natural and blend in in fact we're almost there now that's close like I said there's gonna be probably some tweaking still to be done with this but uh, we're almost down to the bottom here and uh, yeah for now we're gonna call that it but so there's our entrance coming in you see the slopes a little more realistic going around the bend there and going down the hill not too bad like I said there's a few humps and bumps I'm gonna to have to clean up but uh, a little bit better but at least now we've got something to work with as to what's gonna be possible with our our uh, little trail that's going to go down to our cart building so let's add surfaces and let's go back and add our cobblestone which is this it's going to be splining so decision time again do I branch off right away here and bring it down the hill this way do I bring it up a little farther and angle it in between these trees and bring it down that's kind of straight down the hill or do I do a combination of both uh, do I come over this way and kind of bring it in the back that's not a bad option either it might be a point of interest or a view from another hole that'll I just I, if I take it in the back here it seems ridiculous that the carts are going to drive farther down this road than they need to so maybe I come off here make a bend somewhere in here and then carve it in slowly down on an angle to that way it wasn't what I intended when I built this but I I think that's a workable solution here so let's go with that so we're going to come off here carts were say booting it booting down through the parking lot here from the pro shop then come into here we're going to come around this corner kind of aim it a bit towards the practice facilities and that big tree and then we can see a bit of a give there in the terrain that we're going to use to our advantage 
And then we're going to slowly just slope this down until it connects into this cart barn. So let's try something like that and see if that trajectory is going to work. And we're going to make this narrower. Okay, that's good. And we're going to smoothen it. Smoothen. And uh, smooth path. And let's go back up to our starting point again at the top of the hill. And it comes off beside the brickwork there. That's not bad. Might even throw a few flowers or something out here. It comes and makes the turn. Starts going down the hill. And you can see we got a little bit of a canter to it. And we're just going to use the same technique we just used. And we're going to flatten this sucker out. Um, something like that. So get an eye on this before we get down to that point. So let's start up here with a bit of flattening right there. And then set the stage for rolling it down the hill a bit. Something like this. Let's go there. And we'll just keep on pushing it down. I think I'm going to try just push it down and we're going to come back and take some of that uh, left or right slope out of it after I get the gist of this in place. There we go. We're almost down there. When I get down there, clearly I'm going to have to drop down the kind of the turn that comes in. So let's go do that now. We're going to go up here and go a little aggressive on this corner. Because we need to get this down to a level that's going to marry up well here. So we're going to have to do a little more flattening right there. So let's give that a go. And then we'll do the same thing but less aggressive. A little higher up the hill. Somewhere up in there. There we go. And then we will uh, go back to our zero height. And come back down here. Make the radius a little bit smaller. Closer to the size. And we're just going to, right there, keep working our way down the hill. You can see now how it's starting to flatten out already. And we're just going to cheat a little bit to the right, or the left side. Something like that, I think. That, and hopefully this will marry up well to that uh, bottom layer of where the uh, building is. I put it there. And again, people may never ever see this path ever again other than what we're doing right now. But if you get a glimpse out of the corner of your eye and see it, it's going to look natural, it's going to look realistic, and it's going to look like something you might see on a real golf course, which is what we're trying to accomplish here using this as a simulator as opposed to just a gaming platform. We're almost down to base level here. Just got to flatten it out coming into the parking lot. And there we are. I think that'll work. And I think what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to go off in this corner and kind of clean this up a bit. It's a little bit high. So let's just bring this down a little bit. And then we just... Uh, have to go out here and maybe flatten this corner as well. And we just have to smooth this a little bit more. Blend it all in like that. So there we go. There's our path going back up around the corner. Back up and connecting into going off and taking carts off to the cart building. And uh, for good measure, since we have that there, we should also connect that trail to that trail. Because I know the way that maintenance staff work and pro shop staff work is that they're, they're going to take shortcuts where they will. And when they take shortcuts, they're going to wear the turf out. So there is a natural connection that's going to have to happen between there and there. We'll try to get the cobblestone pattern to kind of match up with the direction of that. There we go. 
they're going to come booting on down there and want to come and turn left to go down to that building. So there's a couple different ways to get there. And this is going to be our access trail to get to our ball picking device. So let's add a couple vehicles here now. And that looks like, let's go actually equipment first, range next. Let's throw our ball picker out here. It's going to probably live out here somewhere is where we would have this. And it's going to pick some balls, come back to here somewhere. Might even come back up into here to drop off the ball. So let's, Let's put the picker up in here. This is where it's going to be stored. It just came in and turned around, came booting up there, made the turn, and someone emptied it right in somewhere in there on there. So we'll do that. And then we're going to also add some golf carts, since this is a cart storage building. And uh, there's likely going to be some carts that are going to be living out here. There might be one out here that's uh, getting cleaned up. So someone's pulled this in. There's a garden hose or something off that end of the building. Not be unusual. And there might be a few more that have been cleaned that are either waiting to get parked or they're just being staged out here before they get called up to go to the pro shop. So let's throw a few of them in here as well. A little bit to uh, vary your spacing up. Uh, the angle on the cart may be a little bit different each one because they Cart shop uh, kids aren't going to be able to park them perfectly. And uh, maybe like that spacing a bit bigger than the rest. And there we go. And since it is kind of a high visible elevation area, let's kind of add to the point of, uh, let's throw a cart up in here that's on its way down. I'll show you how to do that. Halfway in the sun, halfway in the shade, going down a hill. Let me show you how we throw a cart down the hill. So we're going to get the angle right that way. And then we are going to go advanced edit and you can see how you can canter this sucker all over the place. So we're going to try to get it to match the hill as close as we can. And let's bring it back this way a bit. Something like that. We're almost there. It's not bad. You can see it's up on the other side there a little bit because the car path isn't perfectly flat, but from this angle, it looks pretty close. So we're going to, we're going to call that a day right there. And just because I'm just in the back of my head thinking that if I'm playing down this hole over here and I'm looking up towards there, yeah, you can see the detail. I can see that cart I just placed. I can see the few by the range. I can see even the few behind the cart barn that are getting cleaned up. And then we move over this T and you can see a little bit more. So that's not too bad. And if I'm on number nine green looking that way, what can I see if anything? Uh, there you go. I can't see much of anything through there, so that's good too. It's all, it's all hidden from that line of play coming into nine. So, so that's how I would build a cart barn. And uh, I've thought about tennis courts. I'm not sure if I'm quite there yet with the idea of a tennis court. But uh, yeah. So now if I am uh, driving into this course, let's see how things look from the the golfer's perspective. Let's do some magic here. Uh, with the, can we do it that way? Oh, it's not going to let me do it. Okay, let me just click another button or two here. See if F10 and 11 work. There we go. So there we go. I'm driving in the driveway. Uh, I'm going to flatten those bumps out. And I'm going up the hill here now. It's a little smoother where we did some work. Coming around the corner. And, uh, oh, in the corner of my eye I can see a cart facility. I'm getting closer to this. Oh, now in the other corner of my eye I can now see some stone building, which is the clubhouse. I am coming through the gates. Do I put a gate attendant here? I'm leaning, maybe. Uh, I come into the parking lot now looking for a parking spot, but first I'm going to come up around this corner here and I want to drop my buddies off in, in the clubs. Making the turn by the pro shop. Oh, take a look. I got a peek at the first tee and the 18th will eventually be coming up straight up that view as well. I then make my turn. I drop off my clubs there. Some nice uh, flower gardens in around here. I make the turn. Now I can see that we're going to uh, end up down there at the range. We're going to hit a few balls. I pull into the parking lot and I park right here. So, so that kind of works. So, so that's how I do my um, infrastructure, I would say. You know, I, I've talked a little bit about the hardcore maintenance, pump house, that stuff. And, and we put a trailer in place for construction. This is now we've gotten into the details of uh, the bigger picture now as far as practice facilities, cart barns, pro shops, how that ties into your first tee, your 18th green, your ninth green, 
uh, how that looks. Like, look at the view from up there looking down across the course. Just gorgeous. We're really starting. I feel like I am somewhere. I don't feel like I'm in a game now. I feel like I'm at a piece of property. And that's probably because of the way we've developed this property. We found a good layout for the course. We put holes in a way that came back in and out of the clubhouse that was up high on a hill that overlooked the property. Uh, we picked out a spot that we're going to build our driving range right there in a second, which is going to have a pretty cool view down that hill. And we see a few of the holes in the distance and we're not only halfway done um, and we're, we're a dozen hours into this course construction process in these videos and uh, we have still to do rough grading on the back nine, which is what I'll be doing next time around is going back to number 10 and seeing what we can do. But uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, it's a lot of fun doing this. I know a lot of you folks are also uh, building your own courses at the same time. So um, if you have any questions, definitely uh, drop them below there and I will uh, answer them. And, uh, and good luck with your own course as well. If you haven't already subscribed to see videos like this and uh, more to come, then uh, also hit the subscribe button and we'll, we'll make that happen as well. So take care, everybody, and I will talk to you in the next course construction series video coming to you soon. Bye for now.